Hello, hello, and welcome to Paper Games. We're going to be doing some grading here. Um, <clears throat> at Paper Games, we sell some of our singles, obviously in our cases, uh, and we fill a lot of orders for people, but we also sell some online. Um, and in order to do that, we, uh, we definitely have to, we have to grade the cards so people know what they're getting. Um, cards can be graded anywhere from uh, mint to near mint. You got lightly played, moderately played, heavy played, damaged. Um, and so it kind of covers the scales of uh, being able to uh, being able to communicate uh, online without seeing the card, kind of what condition it is. So we're just going to cover a little uh, a little bit about that. Now the first step in grading a card is you always, 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 always take the card out of the sleeve. Uh, the sleeve is a great protector uh, for when you're playing it, um, but you want to be able to take it out so you can look at it up close. Uh, you can see all the ins and out. You can look at the backs. Uh, you can look at the fronts. You can just really, really tell the condition of a card if it's out of its sleeve. And I also encourage that if you're trading uh, some higher, uh, higher end cards, because you want to be able to feel the card, uh, make sure it's real. Um, and a lot of times, just taking it out of a sleeve will do that for you. But uh, we're not covering how to spot a fake today. We're just covering how to grade. Uh, the sin size dividing top is a really good example of near mint. As you can see at the top right corner up here there's a little white little whiteness uh, I always suggest grading cards uh, on a black background uh, like our mat here because uh, you can really see whenever there's a nick that white paper um, in in the middle there will um, will show out so if you look real close at the senseis you see that there's just a tiniest bit of nick up here uh, let's go ahead and turn it over look at it uh, looks really good. Also, if you see that kind of sheen there on the on the magic uh, card, uh, it's a uh, you'd be able to tell if there's like scratches on the surface um, or if there's uh, you know any dirt. And so this Sensei's Divining Top is a really nice, uh, really nice grade. Uh, we put that at near mint. Uh, and so what I do is I'll put it back into the sleeve, being careful sometimes. On the sleeve, if it's too popped out, you can hit these edges, and then all of a sudden you're downgrading yourself. Uh, so you definitely want to throw them back in there. So let's go ahead and knock this a near mint. All right, let's go ahead and hit this other one, and we'll look at it. We'll do the same thing. We'll kind of look at its edges there. The top ones look real nice. The sides look super nice. This one is actually closer to a mint. Uh, you're not seeing any white oh we do have a little white up on that top right corner um, if we look at the sheen we don't see any scratches um, any scratches or any real uh, dirt or whatnot so we're also going to uh, do this one as a near mint we just had that little bit of white on the end excellent Let's move on. We have quite a few mana volts here. We have <laughs> uh, quite a few. We have a few in the case as well. So we're going to ship some of these on TCG. All right. And so if we look at this mana vault, it looks really nice and clean. If we just look at the sheen there, um, not a ton of dirt. A lot of times with these white borders, they, um, uh, they tend to show dirt and wear a lot more on the edges. And so this one, though, if you look, it's really nice and white. Not a ton. We do have some uh, some ticking there at the top corner, also at the bottom corner, if you look there. Um, so those definitely downgraded a little bit. I don't know if those two are enough to make me think that this is a um, less than a near mint, though, because that front is just dang near perfect. Um, again, you probably can't see ticks as much um, on the front because of the white border, but you can kind of just throw your your, um, your finger against it and feel it. And that back looks really good. And so we're going to grade this at a near mint. All right. And note, always make sure to put the card back into the sleeve before writing on it. That would uh, be a pretty big downgrade. <laughs> Alrighty, so let's look at this one. We got quite a few here. Um, this guy here is a fourth edition. You can tell that by um, it doesn't have a symbol. It's white bordered and it has its 1995 there. Hello, Mr. Higgins. Thanks for joining, man. We're just doing a little grading here. Um, this guy here is going to be fourth edition. This here doesn't have the dates 
and it is a white border and so this is going to be a revised it doesn't it also doesn't have the double see how this black line is solid that means you know it's a revised rather than a um, rather than a unlimited which unlimited uh, tend to command a higher price so let's take a look here so this revised card, again, if we're looking at the sheen there, it looks real nice. I'm not seeing really too much dirt on the end. If we get really close to this edge, we see a little bit of yellowing. There's a little uh, little brown spot there. Uh, there's another one. That's one thing you'll notice on uh, white border cards is you'll know the darker color. And the darker color usually comes from dirt uh, or when uh, that glossy finish gets ticked, uh, that dirt, dirt will hold on to the underneath. It's not... It's not uh, a gloss finish and so it, it kind of holds on to where it gets ticked so that's how you can tell on these white border cards there's again on the corners and all this is kind of normal wear. I this is an uh, a near mint let's turn it over and look at see what the back looks like so if we look at the sheen it does you can see on the sheen there um, we do have a little bit of dirt holding on to the back there I don't think that's a big scratch but um, that's not enough to downgrade it to a MP in my opinion uh, also on the top right here we got some wear, not a time, 8.5. <laughs> I don't know about that. I don't know about that. We got quite a bit of wear up here. I'd probably put this more into the sevens, maybe high sixes. Uh, the edges are pretty, pretty beat up here, Mr. Higgins. All right, so I'm, but I am gonna put this as a LP. Um, if somebody got this in the mail um, saying LP, I'm sure that they would not be disappointed. Oh, we do have a little bit of, just notice that if you wanna, look with me that little black spot above the illustration um when you when you try to you know see if you can get something off a card you never want to use your fingernail because then you're just gonna you're gonna dent the surface uh which is going to cause it to um be even less so i'm actually looking at that i'm feeling across it and yeah 6.5 is a good call there mr higgins um, I can't get that off, so I'm going to leave it, but I am going to downgrade it to an MP. So the MP is going to signify, like, everything else on it is really good, but that, that little mark there, um, that's, that's a bigger deal. So let's go ahead and put this at a, um, an MP, not, a, not an LP. So there we go. All right. Up here, we got another fourth edition. I believe that might be fifth. What is it, 55? Yeah. All right, so let's look at the sheen. The sheen looks really nice. Uh, not seeing anything right off the bat um, that's coming out in your scratches. Uh, let's take a look at this guy, the back also. Oh, if you look at that sheen on the left there, there does seem to be a little bit of dirt. And what dirt will do is it'll, obviously this is flat. This is kept in a, um, uh, kept in a uh, sleeve. Once you draw it with the Sharpie, does it change the value? Yeah, like I said earlier, Mr. Higgins, you always want to make sure you put the uh, the card in the sleeve before marking on it. Otherwise, it significantly, significantly impacts the value. <laughs> All right, so we're looking at this on the back. You can see the dirt. The dirt tends to um, to catch on. Uh, if you look up here, you can see. You can see the little little spot there, and all along kind of this side, there's just little spots. Those are little little little. They're pro move, pro move using that sleeve there, uh, but not enough. Like when you look at it straight on, uh, you really don't see it. You really have to get that sheen. But there are little dots all around the back, so that that in my mind automatically the dirt get, gets away from the near mint. Um, if we look at the cor the the edges here, the edges are actually really really nice on this card. Um, again, I'm not seeing really any of the discoloration or even the um, kind of dark splotches you see from ticks on the front. So this is a really nice card. Uh, the only the only downside though is kind of this this dirt on the back. Uh, and so we're gonna go ahead and put this at, as an LP, just because it's a little dirty. This is a great condition card. If you had like a Q-tip um, and you wanted to kind of uh, rub rub this, uh, you might be dip it in like a little water. Again, this gloss finish should be water resistant, so don't feel don't feel too bad um, about about um, you know using it on this. Just make sure you don't get on the edges, because then the water will go in. Um, it'll go in the card and cause damage on the end. But if there's a little dirt, take a Q-tip with a little water. Uh, if it's being stubborn or it's maybe like a pen or something, uh, pen, God forbid, a uh, Sharpie or something, you can sometimes use some nail polish remover just very lightly because that nail polish remover does remove the gloss on the top. So you definitely want to be careful of that. We're going to go ahead and put this as an LP. 
and that allows us to sell it as such. Again, if you, if I would get that LP in the mail, I would be very happy because that, that dirt, uh, to a collector, that dirt automatically makes an LP to a player. This thing is near mint. All right, we got another mandible. We got mandible for days. All right, let's go ahead and look at the gloss. The gloss looks good. I'm not seeing any dirt on the front, and a lot of times you won't on the front. They're just taken care of. On the back is where sometimes it gets missed. All right, so I'm not seeing any dirt on this one, but uh, up here by my left thumb, we do have a little white ticking. Um, again, these are all kind of normal marks. In fact, um, just like one of those, looking at the rest of this back, we got a little bit down here on the corner, but the rest is almost pristine. We got a little up here, which is normal. I would almost call this near mint. Let's take a look at this front again. Man, that front is looking real good. I don't see any um, marks or anything else on here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this as near mint. We have a little tick here and a little bit at these corners. Um, just a tad there, so this is definitely a near mint in my book. Um, looking good, looking good. Let's do an NM on this. And marking them too, you can see we have quite a few of them, but when we go to sell them online, we want to make sure, uh, or even in uh, in person here, if you guys want to come grab some mana volts, uh, we got you. We got you, fam. Um, you just, you want to be able to tell at a glance, to spend all the time up front, and then make sure you record it there. All right, so let's grab this guy. We got one more mana vault, and then we're gonna move on to the the multicolors. All right, this one also looks really good under the the light. I'm not seeing any dirt, um, at least right off the bat. Uh, let's go ahead and look at this though. If you get up real close to the edges here, uh, you do see that there's quite a few. There's some marking there, ticking, and there is some dirt holding on to that white border. Uh, let's keep rotating around. You can see it's just just there. Um, there we go on that edge too. Um, sometimes, like I said, you can kind of knock it off just with your just with your thumb. Um, but otherwise, yeah, like you can see a lot of the. Well, if you hold it up against the white surface, that's that's kind of the trick. If you're grading these black border cards, holding them up against a black surface will allow you to see the ticks better. Um, but with these white ones, if you hold up against the white border, it's much, or against the white background like this, you can see that end there. So this guy automatically in the front is telling me MP uh, because it does have the ticks and the the dirt. If it would just have one or the other, I might uh, set it as a might set it as an LP, but since it's both uh, kind of dirty on the edges, if you look at it far away, this is a great looking card. Um, but again, people are buying online without seeing, so you always want to, you always want to uh, have yourself uh, covered and, and you want to be fair, right? So on the black, we don't want to do the black against that. Um, grading cards is like a nice bedtime story. <laughs> I hope my uh, soothing voice can lull you guys into a magic slumber and get you guys some sleep. But on the back, you can see this tons of, tons of white showing. Um, I, now, uh, I definitely wouldn't call this damage. Damage cards um, are gonna affect more the body of the card. If, um, if you're looking on the edge uh, and there's a fold or something, that's definitely damage. Um, and if, say, even like the white is showing and it's ripped, it's real. Well, thank you, Joseph, for the for the laugh face there. <laughs> uh, if you look on the the edge and and part of it is like ripped back, uh, that's definitely damaged. But all of this right here is just kind of wear. Um, it's nothing is really uh, completely pulled back. So this is still uh, going to be a graded card, not a not a damaged card. Um, and we have significant. I mean, this this is kind of normal over here, but this side is definitely yeah. Just throw that card away, Chad says. You know what, Chad? This does look good for him. But you put this in a sleeve, and you're good to go. You know. I let my dog play with it. How about that? Uh, so we already have a MP from the front because we have the dirt, and we have the the dirt, and we have the the edges that are that are a little um, blackened by dirt. But and then on the back we have this really 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 crazy edge here. Looks like somebody rubbed it against rubbed it against uh, something or just the the wear and tear from not using a sleeve. A lot of times if you're 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 shuffling a deck and it's not protected. Uh, that edge will get hit uh, over and over, um, and that's this is kind of what you see. So this one's going to get an HP um, because we have the dirt, the sides, and this side's really bad. So uh, an HP for this mana vault. We kind of ran the gambit there. That was that was wonderful. Excellent. 
And so we have all of our mana bolts. We had everything from a near mint light played, mo moderately played. There we go. I was about to say mostly played, moderately played, and heavy play. And this way, when we go, uh, if somebody's asking for a mana vault, we can we can ask them what condition we can get it, and uh, we can give it right to them. So let's move on. We got ourselves next a nice treat. This uh, card recently spiked in popularity due to the legend rule being changed on Planeswalker and it's the one and only Captain Sisse. Um, I hear some of our viewers really like those pirate decks before pirates were cool. Mr. Joseph um, is a pretty pretty great card. Um, let's go ahead and look at the shine right here and the shine is looking good. I'm not seeing any damage right away when it comes to um, the main of the card up here on the top we do have a little white dot let me give it a rub real quick and that is there to stay um, it does kind of look like a, a little bit of a, a maybe tick or maybe some dirt there but i'm not gonna work on it too much the re other than that though the front man look at those edges i am not seeing any white that is pretty that is pretty. Um, so other than this little mark, so that mark though instantly, because it's right in the middle of the border, it's that black and then it has that white mark there, This in, that instantly downgrades this card to an LP for me. Um, I mean, even though the rest of it is pristine, that mark is very central. Even with a sleeve, you might be able to make that out. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and give that downgrade. All, every card is near mint until you can prove otherwise in my book. So <laughs> this one starts at that mint, has that white mark there, immediately goes down to LP. And let's look at this back. This back is also beautiful. We have a little white tick there. Wonderful. Um, we also have, oh, that's that same one. I just repositioned the card. <laughs> Be a little too hard on you, Sisse. All right, we got another little white. Again, this is this. These on the edges of every corner. I would see like even that. That one is a little more. But um, if that was all that was wrong with this card, this would get a near mint. Um, but again, we got that. We got that, uh, that, that nasty little mark there. So this is going to be a. LP. We'll, we'll go ahead and hit this LP. And again, I covered this earlier, but when you're take, putting cards back in, make sure that you don't, you're not, you're not skewing it because then that will boom, boom, automatically, that'll, that'll tick your, tick your bottom there and, uh, and, and just keep downgrading your cards. So I, 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 um, move the, move the sleeve a little bit out of the way to get her started there. And then Captain Sissy just slides right in. You kind of, don't want to keep that bulge though. You want to you want to let it drop. Thanks for the hearts. I appreciate that. C Captain Sissy de deserves all our love. At a girl. All right. So next we're going to be looking at a foil card. We haven't hit a foil card yet. So let's go ahead and look at this. This is a tireless tracker, and this was actually sent back to me. Um, sent back to me in the mail. Thanks for all the hearts, guys. <laughs> Um, and the reason being is this is a pre-release card and I actually sent it to the person in the pre-release package. Um, now those of you who don't know, um, the pre-release cards come out only on the pre-release weekend. This one came out the 2nd or 3rd of April in 2016 uh, from the uh, Shadows of Innistrad block. Uh, pre-release I should say. This tireless tracker is a great card. It's amazing. It allows you to inve investigate just by playing lands and, and everybody's playing lands and if you play this in modern you get two lands per turn uh, with your fetches, quote unquote, two lands. It's still only one land net but the tireless tracker sees both of them. Uh, so this is a great card. And whenever you stack those clues, it gets up. Well, this isn't about tireless tracker. This is about grading. So let's take a look at this. Foils are a little different when you're grading. Foils are a little more scrutinized um, because um, a foil to be mint has to be perfect. Um, some of these cards down here. Oh, I didn't mark Sisse. Nobody caught me. Oh, that could have been disastrous. I could have sent her out as a near mint. <laughs> All right, so tireless tracker here again. Foil, uh, foils are, are are just scrutinized even more um, because they have this foil layer on there, and if that foil layer is damaged at all it immediately downgrades it, immediately. Um, because when people are looking for mint foils, they are looking for a perfect top. And so if there is any ticking or if there is a slight scratch, um, you, you just really need to be careful because these are, uh, people are expecting foils to be perfect. Um, so let's go ahead, let's start on the back because this is easy, the back is not foil. Um, so we can grade it like any other card. Um, and what happened again, I shipped it in the plastic because these come not in packs, but they come in little plastic 
plastic uh, wrappers. And I shipped it in the plastic wrapper, wrapper thinking, hey, this will you know prove that it has never been open and is really cool and we've hold on to this. But what ended up happening, because I had it in the plastic wrapper and then I put it in a top loader, that back wrapper actually has a little, um, a little uh, fold like a, like the back of a booster and that pressed against the back so let's see if we can see if we can get a view of that on here um, there it is right there so if you see um, right on the G on magic and on gathering you see that line going up and down that was from shipping it in its um, in its plastic wrap and so uh, and then also right here right uh, right by the blue you can see the little indent that kind of looks like stitches there. It's like little dots up and down. That was that right here from the G, just down like that. That was where that little backing was for the plastic. And that actually caused this to not be near mint. Um, that is actually gonna, that that is, it's not quite damaged. It's not bent, it's not ripped, um, but that is getting real close to damaged. Um, I think that automatically downgrades this to an HP. So obviously the guy was not too too happy when I sent this to him in the in the package and he opened it up and he looked at the back and he was like, oh, look at this, this damage. Cause I, I sent it to him as near mint. So this is, you know, this is something just a, a little, thing to learn. Uh, if we look at the front, this front looks really nice. Again, there should be no scratches because it was inside uh, the plastic wrap and so it didn't have any surface scratches, you know, from being shuffled uh, or being placed on the ground and moved around. Um, but because it has that, that on the back, we're going to list this as an HP. Um, not quite damaged. If that, if that denting on the back would have been any more significant, Again, you kind of have to use the light to see it. If you could have seen it without a light, this would have been down to a um, down to a damage. But we're going to go ahead and put an HP, a correct grade on it, uh, and we learned our lesson. Do not ship car, uh, pre-release cards, promo cards in their uh, in their in their plastic because that will that will cause it to be damaged. All right, so we're going to do just four. Uh, we're going to do two more cards here, and then we'll call it a night. Um, here at Paper Games, <laughs> uh, we'll we'll follow up with another foil. We got ourselves a nice foil perforos, delicious. Again, we are posting all of these on TCG. We are a uh, fourth level seller there. But again, if you guys are interested in any of these cards, you can come in, and we'll pull it off the uh, online market, and it's all yours. So this perforos, beautiful, beautiful card. Theros is when I uh, got back into Magic, so I, I have very fond memories from here. And the foils on these gods are great. Uh, one of my favorite cards in foil is uh, this, the, um, oh dear, Searing Blaze from this block. It has the hand out and the blood dropping down. Oh my gosh, and all that blood is foil. It looks so good. And you can kind of see some of that in the middle of the volcano here on Perforos. Uh, so on the front here, I'm looking at Perforos. This looks beautiful. This looks mint. Uh, I'm not seeing any scratches when I... When I run the light across from it, I'm not seeing any dirt. Uh, I'm looking at the edges here, and I see no white. Uh, there's a minimal minimal dot there. Let's keep looking. Excellent. This front is great. This front is mint. Uh, again, you gotta you gotta be a little more scrutinizing when you are grading mint or grading foils. Let's look at the back here. Um, we got ourselves a little bit ticking at the top corner. Again, this is normal. This is not a big deal. Um, you would call this. You would uh, call this probably a light, a light played if, if it was any worse than that. That's actually kind of getting, uh, getting close there. I'm still going to call this near mint unless I see something else. So let's look. Got another, just a very, very light one. That's nothing to worry about. Oh, we do have another one there. Mm. That is not super sick. Sometimes you can kind of push up, and if it disappears, uh, it, it's, it just means that it's moving a little bit. Um, but this one stays even when I push up, so we're gonna have to think about it. There's another little tick. There's a few. Okay, so because of this right here, we have we have three little little hits here. This corner has it. This corner has it. Um, even though the front is pristine, even though the front is pristine, um, we all the corners are showing more than just a little bit of white. So we are gonna put this at LP. I'm I'm happy to send this out as LP. Uh, we might miss a few dollars, but as long as we're, we're being honest with ourselves, with Perforos, and with the buyer, everything will be okay. And take two damage. <laughs> oh man. So let's stick him down here. Yeah, Perforos is a great card. Again, we're gonna put LP, make sure the uh, 
the sleeve is on before you write on the card. All right, and the last one, we got Grizzy in the house. Let's take a look here. Grizzle brand, the wonderful reanimation target. Let's take a look at these corners. The corners look good, the side looks good there. Uh, right here is all, we got a little bit of whitening there. Man, but yeah, it's just slight, ever so slight. But you gotta, you gotta in your mind, basically I, I kind of give, give and take points for these. Uh, right now, you know, it's just a little bit. I just drew seven cards. Listen, sir, um, you don't have, you, you haven't played him yet. You know, I gotta lose that life too. First you have to pay, right there, pay seven life to draw seven cards. So you gotta do that first. Oh, and while doing that, uh, there is some, I don't know if Grizzle Brand got some of his lipstick stuck on here, but we do have some red on this pay seven life. Man, is that, I don't know if that is on top or if that is, hmm, I am unsure. I'm sure that's like a marker or something was hit there. Again, um, I don't, I don't have it with me, but you could probably take a Q-tip, dip it in some acetone and, <laughs> dip it in some acetone and wipe that off. The acetone will take off this protective barrier if you use it too much, um, but it, but it will also get off. Uh, some of those looks like Grizzle Brand drew first blood. You gotta pay your life, so that automatically, like right there. Uh, I might set this aside and try to get that off. Uh, if not, let's just grade it like we're not. So that right there automatically downgrades it to an MPHP. So if I find anything on the back that's wrong with this card, it's gonna be an HP just because of that little dot there. Um, I think if somebody got this card and it was perfect except for a little dot there, being rated an MP, I think they would be okay with. Um, but if there's anything else wrong with this card on the back, we're gonna go ahead and downgrade this to an MP. So we got an LP. Let's take a look at this back. That is a pristine edge if I've ever seen one. We got some more, oh, we got, do have a little ticking right there on the edge. Let's look at it. this bottom. We do have a little there. Again, that one is not a big deal. That one is not. Let's go ahead and look at this sheen and we are beautiful. So um, to be on the safe side, we do have ourselves um, a, a significant tick there. You can see it from quite a far away. Uh, as people are going to notice that. Uh, turn it around and you got the, the red there. Maybe this would be a good altar target. You kind of draw some blood around it. But either way, this one's going to get an HP because of this. I might actually set this aside and uh, try to get some, try to get some uh, nail polish remover and get rid of that for Grizzly Brand. So Grizzly Brand, I'm not going to mark you yet. Maybe we'll, uh, we'll try to clean you up make you ready. Thank you guys for joining us here at Paper Games. Uh, I hope you enjoyed our um, our grading scale. I hope I did it correctly. <laughs> um, but just uh, knowing how to do this not only will allow you to be able to value cards that you're trading for or selling, um, but also receiving um, and kind of understand the ins and outs of, of different grading. Uh, so from here at Paper Games, have a great night and we'll see you guys later.